Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another wonderful episode of Easy Dining. Of course, my name is Tunde. Today, I have a wonderful dish here for you. It's going to be fried fish, uh, and my sides are going to be some potatoes, plantains. Of course, all these are going to be fried. Today is fry, fry, fry. Um, some of my condiments, I have olive oil, salt, oregano, pepper, suya pepper. That's the secret spice there. Of course, palm oil. If you're from West Africa, if you're making something fried, you got to have palm oil. And adobo seasoning. Onions, bell peppers, array of bell peppers, red, orange, yellow. It's all for color and garnish. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to clean the fish properly. Then we'll move forward. But you know, we always got to drink something. Today I have for you Giri Rita. It's my version of a margarita. It is great. So we'll get started on that. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to make our cocktail. Like I said, today's cocktail is called Giri Rita. And the reason why I picked the name Giri Rita is because in Lagos, we, have, we like to do everything big. So guess what? I am going big with big flavor in my tequila. I'm adding Grand Marnier. I'm adding some floral liqueur in St. Germain, triple sec, simple syrup, lime. I have fresh lime as well, salt, and some ice. So let's get started. I have a shaker. Fill that up with some ice. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go tequila, first of all. I'm gonna add a lot in here. I'm making for two people. Um, you wanna use two parts per serving. So here I'm using four for two servings. Grand Marnier, triple sec, just a splash of triple sec. And St. Germain, St. Germain's uh, floral liqueur, just a splash of that as well. Simple syrup, you can make your own simple syrup, it's pretty much just sugar and water. Just to give it a little of, uh, taste, it's not so tart. A little bit of concentrated lime. And I have some fresh lime. Just, just rub this down so we can get all the juices out. A lime squeezer here. Add that in there. Yeah. I think I got it all. Let's shake it up. I am going to use the simple syrup to coat the corner of my glass so I can have the salt on there. You don't have to do this, but a little bit there. You're doing margaritas or gitarita in this case. You want some salt. Some ice in our glass. Shake it up one more time. Let's pour it out. Mmm, yummy. Giri Rita. All right, let's get working on our fish, potatoes, and or plantains if you want. I'll show you both and you guys decide. Let's go, let me clean this up. All right, folks, now I have my Giri readers in the freezer chilling. We're gonna get started on cleaning this fish. I'll show you a few techniques that I use. I use a knife and a, a scissors. So what you really wanna do is um, cut off the fins. And today, like I said, I'm using a tilapia. Uh, for me, it's, it's really tasty, less uh, fishy like other fishes like salmon and what have you. Some of my other favorites are croca and um, maybe like a white fish, uh, cod or something of that sort. This particular fish today has been gutted. So all the intestines and all that stuff is out. So like I said, uh, this, this particular dish was inspired while I was in West Africa, Ghana to be exact, on my way to Nigeria. Yeah, don't, don't ask me how that happened, but I enjoyed it. It's my best road trip ever. Stopped in Ghana, me and a buddy. And we actually got an opportunity to visit uh, some of the local spots. And the lady served us uh, fish in some kind of a palm oil sauce, bunch of bell peppers and onions. It was so tasty. 
So I figured I'd reenact that today because I'm kind of missing home a little bit. Okay, let's uh, wash our fish. I'm gonna squeeze some concentrated lemon. Like I said, to get all that fishy smell out. Be careful while you do this. You don't want to poke yourself with the fins. All right, now that we have the fish cleaned up, it's time to work on our, our marinade. Uh, there's also a technique I want to show you before I get started on that, is uh, putting lines in the fish. This makes it uh, cook evenly when you fry it, and it also gets the marinade inside the fish. So just a couple lines on each fish there and there. Flip it over. You can also uh, marinate it overnight. That usually works. Okay, got our lines in there. Let's work on our marinade. Olive oil for our base. You can use uh, ground out oil, vegetable oil or whatever. Adobo seasoning, just a little bit. Salt, not a lot of salt, just a little bit. You do want to taste the fish, not salt. Oregano, some herbs actually. Gives it this herby taste. Ground pepper, black pepper that is. And suya spice or suya pepe. That's the secret ingredients. You can also use the uh, Crushed peppers, or whatever. We're gonna mix this up, mix this up. I have my brush here. Should come off like a paste. All right, let's brush our fish. In the corners. Doing it this way ensures that you actually get a good balance of flavor. And you can actually get in all these corners, areas of the fish. All right, let's prepare to fry. Okay, as you can see, I'm using a deep fryer today. You can also uh, pan fry your fish, plug it in, turn this on. The good thing about a deep fryer is it actually allows you to set the thermostat. So I'm gonna set mine to 375 to get that heat going. Okay, now we got that going to 375. I'm gonna start cutting up my onions and bell peppers for my sauce. So before I get started on my bell peppers here, I'm gonna wash them up. Cleanliness all the time whenever you're cooking. That's the number one thing. Clean this up real nice. So I'm gonna cut these up in rings. I just like the, the ringish look whenever you have it on the fish. And when you get to the part with the seeds, make sure you get those out as well. You can chop them up however you want them totally up to you. But I'm going with the ring technique. You always want a pretty plate whenever you're cooking. And all this is going to go into our palm oil sauce. So I have my bell peppers chopped up. I'm going to chop up some onions as well. Continuing with the same theme here, I'm going to show you guys how to ring out the onion. I go down the middle. And I take uh, the ends off. Makes it very easy to skin it. Okay, just take the skin off. There we go. Nice and easy. Trying to get a, at least three rings here. Perfect, we got three. All right, let's get our sauce going. We're gonna heat up our saucepan. Let's get our palm oil in here real quick. You can use something else. You can use granite oil, you know, whatever vegetable oil. I like to use palm oil, because this is a West African dish. Okay, let's heat that up. Our palm oil is heating up, but we don't want it to get too hot. We're gonna add our onions first. Move this around. I'm gonna add the peppers too. Down the middle. We just want these to wilt. Get our chopped ones in here. Too. OK. 
Okay, let this go for about, I'll say three minutes, then we check on it. Black pepper. For added spice, you can use suya pepper here, which I'll be doing. Salt. Suya pepper. Okay. Let that sit. We'll check on it in about two to three minutes. All right, we're gonna get our fish in the fryer now. I have my basket, pick this guy up, put it in the basket. It's actually, be careful now when you put this in, it's hot. Okay, let's turn the heat up. So we're gonna get started with our sides. Uh, I'm gonna be using two different types of sides, it's up to you. I love plantain. The dish is usually served with plantain, but uh, if you like potatoes and you wanna do like kinda like a fish and chips kinda thing, you can do that too. So I'm gonna serve up both. So I'm gonna cut up my plantain now. Get the ends off. And of course, one of the big reasons why I love plantain is because it's so sweet. It do it go so well with our, our fish. A little bit of salt and pepper before you put it in the fryer. And that's that. Let me take, check on my, uh, my sauce. As you can see, it's Wilton. And some of the fine chopped peppers down there are coming together. And all the good juices from the onions and the, the bell peppers are gonna mix with the palm oil to create this light sauce, palm oil sauce, I would call it. That'll be going on the fish. So we'll let this go a little bit longer. All right, let's check up on our fish. Okay, looking at it. Oh, it's coming together real good. We'll give it another minute. Fish doesn't take long. So keep your eye on it. All right, let's check up on it. Oh yeah, nice golden brown. We'll let this sit here. There goes the other fish. Okay, let's cut up some fries. French fries as I like to call them. It's just kind of like dicing tomatoes. I like the skin on, just my preference. You can peel it off if you don't like it. Now the onions are all caramelized, so it's along with the, the bell peppers. I'm gonna take this off the fire and place it to the side. That looks beautiful. All right, we're all done. All right, let's get our plantain in the fryer. So plantain, maybe five minutes, six minutes. Just check on it. Okay, as you can see, our plantains are beautifully fried, golden brown, just the way I like it. Let's get this to the plate. Pre-plate, actually, before I actually give you guys the ultimate presentation. Here we come, in comes the fries. It's always easy when you have a fryer. You guys should invest in one, actually. All right, this will go for about a couple minutes. We'll keep checking on it. I'll say five minutes, if that. We're all done here. Let's get this out. Let this strain for a little bit. Get all the excess oil off. It looks beautiful. Okay guys, we have our fish here, some potato chips, plantain, now it's time to plate. This is my favorite part. Plate it. We wanna get our sauce. Be real generous with the sauce, guys. Well, everyone, as you can see, I have my drinks out here, my Giddy Readers. Taste it. Tasty. Fish, chips, plantain, or doo doo, as you want to call it. Again, this is Easy Dining with Tunde on ToastTV.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.